The LastPass Password Manager stores your passwords and personal information in an encrypted vault. It's available for use on your iPhone or iPad through the installation of the LastPass Password Manager from the App Store. Within the app, your vault is organized first by types such as passwords, secure notes, and contact info. You can also go to a specific folder to find what you're looking for, or you can search directly for it from the search bar. Now, if the item is a password, you'll have the option to copy values to the clipboard, or when clicking on the item directly, you can select an option from the list such as launch, edit, and delete. Launching the item will open the website in Safari, where it will autofill your credentials and auto log you in if set up to do so. These stored credentials can also be accessed to directly log you into an app and through other browsers when a login is required. Now, when it comes to adding new items to your vault, this can be done from the browser, but it's also as easy as clicking new in the app and selecting the item type you wish to add. If this is a password, default options are readily available so you can quickly add your password as well as choose your autofill and auto login options. When choosing a password, our password generator is readily available to assist you in assuring the password you choose is secure. You'll also find the password generator is available under security, as well as other options to help ensure your information is as secure as possible. Now keep in mind the password generator comes with a number of custom configurations so you can match the password requirements of any system or service. Under Settings, you'll find a number of options you may want to set up when you first log into your LastPass vault using the app. Under Security, we recommend turning on biometrics to unlock the app. This way, only your biometrics are required to access stored items. You may also want to allow for account recovery with biometrics should you ever lose your LastPass master password. Back in Settings, you also may want to go under Autofill, and choose to enable autofill for your apps and browsers. Show me how will display a video to walk you through the process, but it also opens up your iOS settings under passwords where you can select autofill passwords. Make sure it's toggled on and then set it to only allow autofilling from LastPass. So, one thing to mention while we're in settings is that iOS doesn't allow browser extensions to be used outside of Safari. Safari, however, has the LastPass browser extension auto-installed with the LastPass app. So here, you may want to go under Autofill and make sure your contact info as well as credit card info is not being used. This way it comes directly from LastPass. You also may want to go under Extensions and make sure the LastPass extension is turned on. If it's not, you'll need to toggle it on. All right, now that everything's set up, autofill in Safari is a simple process. And should you want to create an account on a website, LastPass will enter in the address credentials stored in your vault, and then you can use our password generator to come up with a highly secure password. Configure it as necessary, and regenerate it over and over until you find the one you want to use. Once the account's created, you can then choose to add the information into your vault for future logins. And that's it for setting up the LastPass Password Manager on iOS. For more help, check out our documentation at support.lastpass.com.